Imagine this. You get out of bed. You feel hungry. You want some eggs and noodles for breakfast. So you go to the kitchen and crack some eggs. Only for it to freeze mid-air. Then you cook the noodles. But you don't have to worry about a slurpy mess. The noodles can stand by themselves. They can even support the chopsticks. Sounds gravity defying, right? Well, that's breakfast for you in Canada. The country is dealing with freezing temperatures, close to minus 45 degrees Celsius. It is being caused by a polar vortex. What's that? It's a swirling mass of cold air that hovers over the North Pole. Usually, it's like a spinning top. It rotates very fast, keeping cold air locked in the Arctic. But when it's disrupted, this air moves southwards. Right now, it's responsible for the extreme weather across Canada, the US and Europe. Across America, temperatures are at an all-time low. Snow is covering everything. Vehicles are sliding on icy roads and turning over. Pool equipment is exploding. Football fans have to clear snow off their seats. And an NFL coach even had his moustache frozen over. Even the White House could not escape the cold blast. And it's not just the United States. The Arctic blast has gripped Europe too. The UK is bracing for sub-zero temperatures. Schools are closed. Travel is disrupted. And there is snow everywhere. In France, snow has led to disruptions. Highways are blocked. Roads have not cleared. And there's a white blanket as far as you can see. Germany too saw some snowfall and it's led to major travel frustration. With flights delayed, trains cancelled, it's far from a winter wonderland. But the question on everyone's mind is this. Why is it getting colder? If the earth is getting warmer, climate change is the villain here too. 2023 was the hottest year on record. 2024 is likely to be warmer. The world is heating up. The result is extreme weather patterns. Like this Arctic glass, for example. As temperatures rise in the North Pole, the likelihood of polar air moving southwards rises too. And that has caused this cold snap. So while winters could get warmer, cold extremes will still happen. And it is strange. It is so cold in Canada that things are freezing over. Meanwhile, in Greenland, glaciers are melting at record speed. They are losing 30 million tonnes of ice every hour. That's 20% more than what scientists previously thought. So the earth is getting warmer. And it's also bringing with it this type of freak weather. Hot summers, warmer winters and snaps of extreme temperatures. All of this has just one warning. If we don't act fast enough, extreme weather could be the new normal. So if you like your eggs runny and not suspended in the air, don't ignore climate change.